Grace, Minnie Gracie, Dear Scotty's niece. <laughs> yeah, and she's with me today because we're going to show you guys how to replace these ugly hero clips bases. Why don't you show them, Gracie? So, we are going to be placing this part because apparently Scott thinks it's ugly. Yeah, and too big, right? Maybe. Well, yeah, it's too fat. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today, crafters. So let's hit the table. Here we go, I have a Heroclix figure, get it out and uh, take it out of the packaging here. And we'll look at it here for a sec. And get it out of there. There we go, you see it has that nice huge Heroclix base. And if you want to use these for anything besides Heroclix, they're really obnoxious and large, right? So I'm just going to use these small uh, wire cutters and hit the edge of the stand that the guy's standing on, just clip it. And it starts to come up, but it hasn't quite come off the base yet. So I'll hit the other side. Be very careful with this while you're doing this. Any kind of sharp tools. And now I've got it loose from the base. Just pull it right off and there you go. Now it does have a rather large base uh, below the feet, but we'll fix that. All right, cool. I'm going to use these one inch washers, okay? And I like to use the ones as the smallest holes possible that I can get. So here's my figure. And I'm going to use my glue gun. And I really like to use these uh, long nozzled uh, metal tip glue guns. So I'll put uh, some hot glue on there, glue them onto the washer there, let it dry or harden up for a few minutes. And once it's ready, I'll kind of pull it off the surface. Make sure you have a surface it can pull off of, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna take my glue gun and start filling it in because you got, it has that large residual base on it below the feet. So I'm gonna build it up, build the base up to that point on the bottom of the base. Some of these hero clicks have this, some of them don't. Um, so it just depends on what you what you get, what you buy. Some are closer, and you can just fill a little shorter in there. But this one has that big uh, excess base, so I'm going to fill it up right up to that. So it just blends right into that washer there. So really nice. Okay, now that's all hardened up, and I've built it up to the feet there. Let's give you an idea there. So cool. Yeah, looking good. All right, now what I want to do is I want to paint the base, but I want to spray paint it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some just uh, masking tape and cover the figure. Just cover it all up. And there we go. Now it's ready to paint. Okay, I'm going to use my flat back black <laughs> spray paint and paint the bottom of the washer first and then around the edge where the feet are and that'll cover it up quite nicely. So now here I've done it and I've totally uh, covered up the figure so it's safe from the spray paint. And when I take that off it'll be it'll be nice and uh, set to go. Now it might get a little bit on the feet if it does just repaint those a bit that's easy to do. Now for some figures I'm going to use some uh, brown more like an earthy brown so I'm going to use a dark brown on the base first and just paint that around the feet and the figure. So really easy to do. And then for some I may want to do kind of a more of a stone texture or like, you know, in, in a city or street or something like that. With this mayor character here, I'm going to use the, uh, the gray instead. And uh, once I get that painted on, a little bit of burnt umber in there to give it some various variation on the stone texture or stone color. And here I'm going to use uh, a lighter brown. And I'm just using a sponge and sponging it on. So it gives a nice variation of the color of the base. You can add all kinds of other stuff to the base too if you want. Like grass and that kind of thing. So here we go. I'm going to use a lighter gray now. Same thing with the sponge. It's a damp sponge. Just kind of flick it on the base there. Be careful you don't get it on the figure. If you do, you can wipe it off or repaint it. Not a big loss. There we go. Nice. Nice little stone base for the character there. Here's a little wilderness scene where I can show our dirt bases. And let me grab the mini here. 
And I just think that came out really nice. It really blends in with the excess base that was on the feet. Uh, the coloring is really nice. It blends into the to the ground. I spray painted the bottom black so it wouldn't be the metallic from the uh, washer. And you could add, you know, flocking or anything else, rocks or anything else you wanted to add to this uh, to embellish it. So very cool. And the opposite end of that is the kind of the, the stone or city tile, you know. So I did it more like a stone color. And uh, you can see that really nice there. Just really blends into the cityscape here. And you know how I like to do uh, bases that aren't just plain black? I did the bottom black there. So if you turn it over, it's not the washer. There we go. I think this is a really nice uh, solution for these ugly, ugly Heroclix bases. Hey, Crafter, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did, give your DM Scotty a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, we got a great group on there, lots of uh, projects. Also, if you like the vid, why not drop a dollar in the chip jar? You can just click on the video and uh, tip uh, directly to DM Scotty. And if you want to participate further, you can join Patreon and get uh, the Crafter's Larry Month. It's a magazine I produce for my uh, Patreon friends. All right, Gracie, what do we say to our Crafter friends? Go forth and craft! Yeah, go forth and craft. All right. <laughs>